So I'm gonna spend three minutes talking about mm, tax cuts. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So I just tuned in on YouTube, and I'll include a link to a talk by Richard Wolff, who's an economist who I really enjoy listening to. He really has a way of just kind of taking issues and saying, you know, saying exactly what, calling things exactly what they are, right? So as opposed to getting caught up in maybe the motivations behind why, why people do the things they do or whatever, thinking behind it, just like concretely what happens, concretely what is happening. He talked, had a little bit to say about this, um, you know, the, the Trump Republican tax bill, what have you. And it's, um, I don't even know why we, you know, label these things um, with using these political labels because they're really just, you know, it's a ruling class tactic to, you know, extract wealth, extract more wealth from the, from the common people, right? So in this tax plan, we're gonna see a 14% uh, tax cut for corporations. So corporations who, you know, barely have to pay taxes as it is. You know, and I don't want to be, you know, because they have this 35% uh, tax rate that we were saying made it not competitive. But the truth of the matter is, with all of the shelters and the and the deductions that businesses can be make, no one was paying no one was paying the the 35% tax rate. Right? It was just a nominal rate, and now it's been cut down to 20%, which means that now, on top of the, you know, top of the now that we're talking, we're starting with a starting number that's 20%, and now those. Businesses businesses are going to be able to still make all of those, you know, make claim all of those deductions, right? So we have businesses um, spending, uh, uh, providing less and less of the tax base. But these corporations are where these corporations, you know, they have. That's where all the wealth is. That's where all the money is. So when those when those businesses, when those corporations aren't paying taxes, that basically means that in the United States, at least, it means that there's no money to pay for those things. And you know, quality of life costs money. Re roads cost money. Public education costs money. A healthcare costs money, right? All of these things are subsidized <laughs> by the government through our taxes. And so what happens when we can't afford to educate people well? What happens when, you know, the roads are failing and infrastructure starts to fail, right? Uh, and it's wonderful to think that we're going to be living, you know, all these like our individual have all of these individual freedoms, right? But not be able to do nothing because we don't have, a, we don't have the infrastructure that allows for us to get from one place to another, right? So uh, who knows? Maybe it's something to get excited about. Maybe it's going to be exciting to have a world where, um, you know, everybody's responsible for educating themselves. And so we have even more um, issues around uh, facts, right? So what, you know, so this idea of, you know, facts um, begins to shift because people will be able to make up their own facts because they won't be getting them from school. Um, and it's interesting because, uh, you know, uh, Richard Wolff talks about, you know, this idea that people disparage other economic systems when we see so clearly that the economic system that we're existing under is failing miserably. And if it weren't failing miserably, why continue? Um, why do we have so many of these social ills, right? And of course, people will say it's because of the immigrants, right? <laughs> it's because of immigration. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.